packed up you on the flight or you're taking your car or whatever and you headed up north is there was there some fear attached to it yes i mean i wish i could have uh i wish i could have taken a flight at the time but unfortunately i had to live on my savings for a minute so i actually took the train up from um from roanoke to uh new york i'll never forget the date it was january 14th 2020 it's probably like 48 degrees and i remember my mom was in the passenger seat literally crying like I was going to kindergarten. And she was like, my baby's going to New York with no job, going back to get another degree. What is he doing? And my dad's like, he'll figure it out. I think he literally, I'm going to New York, mind you. I think my dad gave me $10 and was like, first meal's on me. And I'll never forget that. And I had a slice of pizza. Oh, I love it. Right? I had a slice of pizza. I think I probably had a grape soda um, and like a brownie or like a cookie or something. And I was just like, all right, I'm here. Like, now I got to Now I got to actually figure it out. And so that's when it was yeah. kind of like a little scary, but it also made me hungry. So it made me want to step outside of my comfort zone. It made me attend literally every networking event you could go to. It made me start the podcast. Uh, it made me start the book publishing company, um, which actually led to me kind of starting this resource group at Columbia or co-founding this resource group at Columbia that was geared towards uh, the advancement of black and brown um, people within the sports industry which led to my first uh, hands-on marketing experience with a really big agency at the time. So it definitely wasn't an easy journey. And when I look back, I don't take anything for granted because everything happens for a reason, but I'll never forget getting off that train and then getting on the actual subway and being like, damn, what did I just do? And now I got to figure it out. 